I was able to beat Pokemon Scarlet with only shiny Pokemon. I beat this entire game with only shiny Pokemon. It was crazy. Guys, first of all, I, it's time to like decide our trainer. I was basically, I was like thinking of what type of character I want to go with. I decided to go with a male, but I was looking through the females. But then I started looking through the males because I want to start my male character. And I wanted to go with a cool drippy character. At first I was going to go with this little blue girl. But then I decided to go with like a um, white, like a, like a guy who's like pretty cool. Like I decided to name myself Silver Star. That's technically where I got that name from. I named myself Silver Star. And like basically we were like looking through the hairstyles and stuff. And like what to, what hairstyle should we go with honestly. I was kind of confused. So I decided to go with this cool little drip hairstyle. Like kind of like this hairstyle that I have IRL. And like we were just like going through Nimona. And basically Nimona was like telling us like basically what to do and like basically we were starting off our adventure that's what we're actually doing right now as you guys can see my favorite cutscene is going on i absolutely love this cutscene this cutscene is amazing it's absolutely amazing it's the best cutscene of pokemon history and i am gonna be honest there's no other cutscene in this game that can beat this cutscene it's amazing in my opinion this cutscene is probably the best cutscene of all pokemon history and I am so happy that this cutscene even exists, honestly. Like, we are starting off this game. In this game, we want to beat this game as fast as possible. Even though I turned off the cutscenes, I turned off the, um, the fast, everything was not fast. But we were seeing our little starters. You guys don't know, starters are not shiny locked. So it's like, literally such a waste of time for showing me these starters. Because they're not even shiny locked. Like, why would you show me starters? They're not even shiny locked. They were so not worth seeing. And we were just like making our way through and like cruising around and like checking our drip out. And like stuff like that, pretty much. That's what we're pretty much doing right now. Now we are actually making our way to we're basically wearing our uniform now. And we were actually making our way to where um, Director Clavel and Nimona are to get our starter. If you guys don't know the stars are shiny locked, so I don't think so they're actually even able to get shiny. I remember this friend of mine was like said that like he showed like a video of this guy getting a shiny trigger Tito but like not able to like have the shiny. But that's dumb as hell, I don't think so that's possible. But anyways, for to be honest, I did hunt Quoxley for a bit, but then I quit gave up because I didn't have the charm. I named Gaduck and it was time to battle Nimona with our temporary starter. If you guys don't know, this boy is gay, and this starter is going to be really good. Gay Duck will be using um, water guns. I will destroy him with a couple of water uh, guns. He will be using a couple of water guns. Our temporary starter, Foxy is my least favorite, but funny enough, Foxy actually was my favorite of the trio when I, the game first came out. And I really liked Foxy. His evolution sucks. And we also got our first shiny, as you guys can tell. We got our first shiny. This shiny did not take that long. It only took around like 30 to 45 minutes to get the shiny. Through like a method basically just running in back and forth of this area. I named it, I was so happy when I got it honestly. Actually I wasn't really, I kinda expected it though. I kinda, what I wanted more was like what? I wanted like a Pokemon like Scatterbug. Or, no I wanted Fletchling, that's to be honest. I wanted freaking Fletchling, that's what I wanted. Or even Spide Ops would not be bad. Tarantula would not be bad, honestly. But anything but this thing would be. Anything but Lechonk. At least that's what I thought. You guys are gonna see later on why this Lechonk is actually a. I'm actually blessed to have this Lechonk out of the game. You guys are gonna see why. But honestly, I don't like Lechonk. But we were like going through like freaking like. A freaking. Uh, causing like. Seeking a freaking mass murder, not gonna lie. We were just causing a mass murder of Pokemon. We were just killing a bunch of Pokemon. We were just doing that over and over again just to get a bunch of experience. It was so weird, but like we were actually doing that. Like it was so dumb and weird. I'm really happy to be playing the latest Pokemon games, honestly. And we saw Koridon. Koridon and Hondoom. Koridon was mad 
and it kind of got angry at the Hondoons and then we jumped down with our little phone and we saw Koraidon and then we started making our way to our little friend and Koraidon was a little sad so we gave him a sandwich there's nothing in his life that Koraidon loved more than a sandwich so we gave Koraidon a sandwich Koraidon ate the sandwich and went Super Saiyan Goku and we're gonna face against his enemy we're gonna face against his enemy a little bully we're gonna battle against a bully now a Hondoom this Hondoom is fucking annoying this Hondoom is so damn annoying this Hondoom if it wasn't for Koraidon Koraidon saved us from this Hondoom and basically we got the Kur Koraidon helped us against the Hondoom and these Hondavers and everything couldn't do it and now Koraidon wanted to what Koraidon wanted to do but Koraidon jumped up with us and jumped up and Nimona called us and we made it to our to other side if you guys are like amazed by how Koraidon is just amazing I'm gonna be honest with you I think I should like Koraidon more than Moraidon now because Koraidon just solos honestly Koraidon is badass we actually arrived in Menfra of Mesagosa and it was time for our like our rival battle I did skip the Arvin battle because it was not important, it was just a little bit of it. It was too easy. Let us skip that part of the video. Because Arvin was way too easy. But honestly, we were like tail whip. We were just like that part of the game was very boring, honestly. The, the, the entire game is freaking boring, but these Echo Ways, somehow this Lechonk was actually able to defeat this Fake Coco. Even though Fake Coco solos. And then next up, Pommy came out. Pommy was not that tough. Pommy is actually very tough. Early game, it's tough because it terrestrializes, and we do not expect that because we don't even know what terrestrialization is. Is and straight off the bat, she actually terrestrializing uses Tinder Shock. Like we were not even able to live, and a couple of shots destroyed us the crit, and we were unable to win. But guess what? We don't care because this battle is very unnecessary, and we are making our way into Mesagosa now. Mesagosa is like the central hub of this game and as we are in Mesagosa now what we're gonna do now guys is that we're in the sandwich shop and everything we're gonna see everything guys we're gonna see and we're like not sure what to do in Mesagosa but what we decided to do is that we actually did not go to the houses we were not allowed to go anywhere now Nimona wanted us to go on a, us to, to go inside the house and spam the A button. This part of the game was the worst part of Pokemon Scarlet Violet. We need to unlock the three quests. It's annoying. But I don't want to do that right now. I wanted to get a shiny. But you guys knew how determined I was to get a shiny. I was literally going back and forth in this area over and over again. I cannot tell you guys how many times I actually did this. I did this way too many times, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did this way too many times, it's so unhealthy. I was gonna accept anything, and the reason why I was killing these Iggly buffs is because if you guys don't know, the sh if there's a shiny, the Pokemon does not kill it. But our luck was on a Squawkabilly. A Squawkabilly was the Pokemon we actually caught. And this Squawkabilly thing is the reason why I hate life. Because this po actually no, I actually like Squawkabilly, you need the Elon. And I wanted a battle against Brassius now, that's for our first badge. I wanted this, this time I wanted to go with Brassius in my Violet playthrough, I play, went with Caddy and every single playthrough was with Caddy but this time I wanted to go with Brassius first Brassius was not that tough and I got into Aerial Ace but basically the squawk ability was good cause he was like level 22 he was like kinda of over the level cap and like, oh not on level cap, he was like over level kind of for us and our like Chonk was like level 18 or something but we were able to like get the W. We were to terrestrialize and terrestrialize our normal type. And as we were a normal type, we were able to decimate this pseudo widow because he's not a rock type anymore. And um, I think flying types are super effective. So like even two hits basically destroyed him. Trailblazer didn't do a lot to us, but we were still able to win. And you need about to outspeed. Somehow we were able to outspeed the pseudo widow, and we actually defeated Brassius this little green deal and you were able to destroy him with these and i think now what we have to do now is that we have to like basically now is that i want to battle against the next gym this is the next bet that i want to do 
No interruptions, I want to battle against the next gym. I don't care who calls us, Nimona can call us a million times, but we're gonna actually make our way to... Um, let's see, I was thinking of where to go, and I decided to go with Caddy, the cupcake lady, and basically with her, she has bug types, which Squawkabilly will absolutely just decimate, honestly. You already know my boy Squawkabilly, he's gonna decimate Caddy and her bug types, because her bug types are really jokes compared to um, Squawkabilly, because Squawkabilly is gonna be absolutely amazing against everything. Tarantula can't do anything. Even Tarantula is able to go down. And Teddy Ursa can't do shit, honestly. Teddy Ursa absolutely cannot do shit. We basically just used Aerial Ace. And basically, with the Aerial Ace, we were able to basically to Terrasalize, right? But we just used Aerial Ace and literally one shot this thing. We don't care. We do not fucking care about you, Caddy. Caddy can burn in a hole, and we don't actually care. I literally think that Caddy is the most easiest shit ever. And as he defeated Caddy, it was time for us to like, make our way to the next part of this game. And by the way, we were interrupted by this Broomhead. And this Broomhead basically did is that he told us to like, to um, go and train and stuff. So what we did is that we actually, um, we wanted to get, we didn't know what to go next. So what I decided to do is I decided to take a break and like try to get a shiny and stuff. So basically this entire break that I took was for actually to ca catch a shiny, um, catch a shiny Floki, if you guys don't remember. But a couple months ago, I actually did is that I spent like a week, only one week, luckily. I spent one week hatching eggs for a shiny Floki, day and night. And eventually, what actually happened is that even though we were looking for a shiny, we actually, our luck was on Froki, we got a shiny Froki, hidden ability, which is the most insane part, because hidden abilities, Froki's hidden ability, Greninja's hidden ability, I should say, is protein. It turns to a different Pokemon type whenever it, like, basically it turns into a different Pokemon type. It's absolutely insane. It was a Frogadier because I leveled him up a couple levels. And I want to battle against a Stony Cliff Titan because we are super effective against it. And you don't know how happy I was. As you guys can tell, I have a Greninja, like a hero club picture, because I was hunting Greninja. And I'm really happy with my boy Protein. Like, he, like I have to change out his moveset, so. His moveset is shit right now. We just got this Protein. But in the end of the game, his moveset. I really had a Water Pulse the entire playthrough of this game. And I'm gonna be honest, Water Pulse is actually good. Like, sometimes what we have really got to do is that we actually even like, got to land confusion against, like, formal hard trainers. Even though his ability was, Pop's ability was a little annoying, honestly. But it did lower his defense and special defense. And now we were just making our way down. And we have to battle Clop for the second phase. Clop's second phase is very, very similar to the first one. It was very easy. And we decided to blab out Cloth's second phase. In Cloth's second phase, basically what I did is that I used Water Pulse again. And I was like very hoping for a Drastalization. Because I wanted one shot this thing. And pretty much he should be very easy honestly. Even Vice Grip shouldn't do shit. Anger Shell is very annoying because he kept using that shit. Like it was such an annoying ability. And even Haste it does. Haste says is actually the one who actually is able to defeat it. Because Haste says is the one who gets credit. Not the stupid shelter. The shelter doesn't get credit. Bite was able to defeat Cloth, guys. Bite was able to defeat Cloth. This little, little girl, this little boy was able to defeat Cloth. I can't believe it. I love my guy for defeating Cloth. And now, we just made it our way into the next area of this game. Which, actually the Herba Mysticas. We got our Herba Mystica, if you guys don't know, we got our Herba Mystica, our first Herba Mystica actually, and our Herba Mystica does is that it actually makes us really happy, and we're on our way to healing up Mass Botip. To be honest, you already know, I was just spamming A, but these, we also got the ability for like, Crydon, if you guys don't know, 
these parts, these stupid parts of the game, I really hate these parts of the game. They're like these stupid cutscenes and stuff, and I have to sit through them. But honestly, I don't, I really like Pokemon, but I don't like the fact that in Pokemon, you just have to spam the A button, and it gets really annoying, honestly. Especially when you replay Pokemon games, they get really annoying, because of the fact that you're just spamming the A button the entire time. In Leventia, we had the battle against Nimona. Nimona's team is very easy, honestly. We just switched into Frogadier, and Frogadier was able to, like, um, able to, like, this is kind of like the last battle I wanted to do before I actually, like, used the bathroom. But, like, I was able to, like, destroy her, and now it was time to, like, battle against Ayano. Ayano is very easy because of the fact that she has electric types, and our Uncle Logan can do shit against her. Because if you guys don't know, Uncle Logan actually, but basically, Uncle Logan's ability is, I was telling you guys, it has, like, this ability called Lingering Aroma changes the Pokemon's ability and basically that's gonna be really good against the Miss Magius because if you guys don't know Miss Magius has no weaknesses so as we're able to change its typing we can actually get rid of its ground weakness and it's gonna have the ground weakness and we can basically destroy it through it. T Dig will be able to do shit against it and now I wanted to battle against I was so scared because we had this Oinko Lopni but I felt like I wouldn't get any good shinies but Later on in the game, you guys are going to see how good of a team I had. I had an absolutely badass team, honestly. It was a team I've never been called for. And Ayana's last Pokemon was a Miss Magius with no weaknesses. And so we Terrasalized. And we basically um, Terrasalized into our normal type. And to be like immune to ghost types, obviously. And then basically, Ayano basically um, Terrasalized into Electric type with a Lightning Bulb. And we were able to basically headbutt it. And what we were doing is that we're not even, we're, it's not even immune to normal type attacks now. Two headbots were actually able to do the job. And our pig was able to defeat this little fairy. And we were able to defeat Ayano. Ayano's badge was ours. And we defeated Ayano. And Ayano was ours. And now I wanted to battle the next team star boss, which was Giacomo. Giacomo was actually the next boss I wanted to battle. But no, I battled against Mela. Because if you guys don't know, Mela is actually the one I always battle at first. I don't usually battle the Guacomo. I prefer to battle Guacomo last before Mela because Mela is much easier for us. Our team is filled with water types, even later on in the game, and she's gonna be really easy. Even her Star Mobile will do not ship to us. We were able to defeat this thing very easily, even though we were burned. And we were able to defeat Mela. Mela is really the worst Team Star member, probably. My favorite, I don't know, probably be Ortega or something. And you want to battle against Earthworm because you guys are going to see how much of a monster of a boy um, Earthworm will do nothing against our boy. Our boy. Our boy. Our boy. Oinkologni. It cannot do shit against Oinkologni. I think Lugni can like use headbutt and like basically lingering aroma was able to like dig it and it's not gonna be have the earth eater ability anymore. So we were able to defeat this earthworm really fast honestly. Because Oinko Lugni was really good. And Batty was able to defeat this earthworm the first phase. So we were just working our way and like basically doing a stupid mini game that the earthworm made us do. And as we were actually made it to Earthworm, Earthworm's fight was really easy because of the fact that he was like, basically weak to ground. Even though he's normally immune to ground, in our case he actually won't be immune to ground. Our pig will help us a lot. What I'm gonna recommend our pig to do is that I'm gonna start avoiding attacks. I wanted to start avoiding attacks because that is something that's really important to me. So what I did is I was spamming the hell out of headbutt. I was spamming the hell out of headbutt. But basically what I was able to do in the end though, was a ground type move was able to destroy him. Earthworm was down, and we were able to like basically defeat this Earthworm. And now what I needed to do is that I just defeated this Earthworm. I need to do is that I need to touch grass. Because this is absolutely insane. And I think this is the touching grass would be such an important step. Honestly, it was amazing. We also defeated Team Star for the first time. We defeated Team Star. 
it felt amazing to defeat Team Star after a fake birthday we battled against Team Star and we were going to destroy Team Star she was absolutely going to get insane and we were just going through a mass murder simulator mass murder simulators are not nice but that's what we had to go to I wanted to go with a mass murder simulator and we wanted to battle against his boss because his boss is actually Giacomo Giacomo is not going to be that tough because it's going to be rather simple it's going to be rather simple to defeat Giacomo he's only have two Pokemon and we can defeat him with Ron Cologne or Frogadier I felt like honestly I was trying to not use YouTube or anything because Pokemon is not something you need YouTube for so the fact that Pokemon is a kid's franchise and anyone who needs help on how to shiny hunt can watch my channel so I think I made a tutorial and as we defeated Giacomo it was time we actually made our way to the next part of the game I want to make our way to the next part of the game this part will be such a great part while I was building the game because what I had to do is I basically had trust lives and after trust lives he basically, basically is really annoying and the fact that we have to basically battling as a team star boss well he's gonna have an ace in his hole he's gonna be his uncle Logan with the ability that I have and as we were able to defeat this poison type team leader he was supposed to among us uh, PG, PGY or something I call him like uh, something like that and I did defeat him and basically after I battled the poison one we also battled Sky Titan now it's time for Larry Larry is not that tough Larry is going to be pretty simple but Larry is just going to have normal types and we have like a ghost type we can translate into a ghost type and easily destroy and sweep its entire team which is honestly going to be the move that we go with that's what we're going to go with and that's the move that we're going to actually go with we're going to try to like sweep it in our team we are really falling asleep like Chester Berry woke us up and Night Slash is pretty much going to help us Greninja is going to be really good again honestly Kamala fainted and next up was the Dunsparce if you don't know the Dunsparce has a flying pit poop is very fucking annoying but that is the, the breath that he's going to go with and Drill Land is not going to go a lot but we were still able to clutch it out and we just used like just trash lights I mean not trash lights to turn into a ghost type to be immune to the facades that the Staraptor is going to use is going to be really annoying but my boy Elon was actually the one who was actually able to beat it because that heat cave fight against like the ice types because the ice types are very annoying so like kind of like fight off the ice types that's what I used it for and like Staraptor was the last one obviously Staraptor is one of my favorite Pokemon and Staraptor is really badass but Larry Staraptor is going to be a fast standing facade and lowering my attack by one stage but still even though it did that we still like poke attack that's pretty much the thing that actually was able to defeat it and the CT Tiger randomly ran into the room which is very annoying I don't like that and basically yeah yeah Larry Staraptor like I don't like that so what I decided to do is that um I decided to do is that we didn't just paint it. So now I use Haze stuff and I use it. It was basically really bad. But I was like, I don't know what to do. The Oinka Logan most likely will be the one who has to defeat him honestly. But like Greninja, I'm gonna rely on Greninja. We were just like so confused. We didn't know what to do. So we were just in miserable condition right now. And we were literally in the brink of death, honestly. We had nothing to do. Even though I used a revive on a Greninja, I guess that came in fast. Without even trash civilization, actually, I defeated Larry with my Sasuke. It was really awesome, honestly. Because Greninja is a really cool shiny, and he's like amazing. I defeated Larry now with my Greninja. Now, I don't know what to do next. Our Toxic Hex. We got a Toxapex, and it was time to battle against the Donzo. The Donzo, and we also got Baneful Bunker. And also, it's time. This this fight has three phases, three terrifying phases. And what I did, my plan was to like translate it to a normal type, 
and body slam and stuff, but what we did is I've used a talk text to be like negated from the attack from Baneful Bunker and stuff. Basically poison him and like basically Yeah, that's pretty much what we decided to do. And we also trasalized it into a poison type. I don't know why we trasalized into poison type, we just did it. Yes. And like when a shock was able to like if, if you're poisoned, there's more damage. And we were just like Uncle Logan was really able to like Oinko Logan was really the one who was actually able to defeat it, and Squawkabilly was the two Pokemon that were able to defeat it. Now, Sudanzo is the next phase. I want to battle against Sudanzo's next phase. We don't even know if it's a dragon or a fish. And Sudanzo's next phase is that Sudanzo eats the sushi, and he goes Super Saiyan. And now what we want to do is that we want to use nice slash and stuff. Harvin was actually kind of helped in this situation, because of its paralysis. But somewhat of a help, but we were more of a help though. Squawker Billy was the one who was able to get us a W. And the last one was that the sushi little guy was the one who actually fought him, the little kid fought him. And we actually defeated Tatsugiri. And we defeated Tatsugiri. And we were just done with this fight. And the next part of the part is that we want to battle against a fairy team star boss. Which is, if you guys don't know who the Fairy Team Star boss is, it's, um, this, there's like this, it's like, there's like this guy, which looks like a, he's like wearing like a pink shirt, and he's, he's not gay, but like, he kinda looks gay, not gonna lie. But in a way, he looks gay. In a way, he doesn't look gay, though. I do like him, though. Not gonna lie. Too bad he's a minor. Anyways, um, we are going to Waifu Simulator, killing a bunch of Waifus, Gardevoirs. And then we decided to go into the, um, um, we were going to the fight, and then we were battling against Ortega. Ortega is his name, and Ortega, we were going against Poison Spam. Poison. Poison is how we defeat this guy. Poisoning and Baneful Bunker is how we defeated this guy. That was how we defeated Ortega, honestly. Ortega was not a tough fight at all. Ortega was not a tough fight. We were just spamming, like, these type of moves, and we were just relying on Baneful Bunker and a bunch of poison residual damage was able to defeat these bad boys. That's how we defeated the fairy types. Honestly, I don't regret this at all. That we defeated these two fairy type moves. And Body Slam recover it's just it's just broken. The strategy was such broken. Literally even the rev room couldn't do shit against us. It was just it was such a good strategy honestly. I'm surprised that I was so smart for even think of this strategy. And this shiny is the one shiny that I'm actually happy that I got. But it's like probably the bet it's probably even better than the Greninja, honestly. Fox Effects is probably even better than the Greninja. Fox Effects is one of my favorite Pokemon from now on. That only the Loki are my favorites. I'm kidding. Um anyways, Confuser is really annoying, but like we very good to defeat Ortega really easily. As you guys can tell. Ortega is very easy. Ortega was easier, but like, I don't think so the fighting type from Starbase, the next one, I think, won't be easy. We also defeated Great Tusk. Great Tusk was literally so easy, honestly. I literally destroyed Great Tusk. I'm not even joking. I almost one-shot that bitch. He was that easy. Great Tusk was so easy. I defeated him in seconds. I defeated Great Tusk. He was that easy. I've never, I remember in a dentist office, I was like struggling on Great Tusk. But like anyway, we, we battled against the OnlyFans lady. Uh, what's her name again? That Arab chick. We battled against her, she's not a fair draft. She's very easy honestly, but we just used Flip. We were just, by the way, we got these new shinies. The shinies weren't gonna bite us at all. These shinies weren't even care for us. Only two Pokemon are care for us, actually Greninja. And and what's that name again? Pop Tex. It was only two shinies that actually care for us. We had a new team. Not even our Mariah Kai could actually care for us. That was kind of depressing, honestly. Made me kind of feel down bad. Um, anyways, we defeated a Gardevoir, which is really depressing, honestly. I don't want to see a Gardevoir faint again. We defeated Gardevoir, and we battled against Espastra. If you guys don't know, Espastra has a like, dazzling gleam, against the dark type weakness. And like, but, but for some reason, my most strongest Pokemon was Shiny, the Bug Trio was able to actually defeat it. And he literally one shot this bitch. This Florgris had no chance against us, honestly. Even though we only shot him to a water type. 
we're still able to destroy that bitch. And basically, Florgus, I always one shot Florgus for some reason. My Violet, Scarlet, and the Scarlet run, I one shot that idiot. This gym leader is really easy, honestly. She's probably one of the easiest gym leaders in the game. And so was Nimona. Nimona, the, Nimona was like, Nimona was like cracked down on me. But she stood no chance against me. And next up, I want to battle against Rhyme, which if you guys don't know, is, is a really cringe gym challenge, honestly. But she like, basically like, they're just talking about jokes and stuff. This is dumb, honestly, her gym battle. Her gym battle is also really easy, honestly, for me at least. The double gym battle, because it had a mimic here. I just broke the substitute for the first turn. And I basically did that sucker punch and like Night Slash. I was able to beat Mimikyu, we broke the disguise of Mimikyu, the other noise neutral. These stupid ghost types could do no shit against us. It had stood no freaking chance against us. Our attack and special attack was rising just because they defeated these Pokemon. This gave me freaking Galar vibes right now. I remember there was a Galar gym leader, which was in my shield Nuzlocke, I remember. Which actually, basically, actually did the same thing. As you guys can tell, these little dogs came in. And started like dancing and stuff, and then Ryan like trash lies with a Pokemon for this type, which is stupid as hell. As we destroyed that idiot with a Moon Blast, literally one shot that thing. And as this reckoning of a waste of my time was over, defeated that black woman. And now I wanted to do is that fun fact: if she's one of the only black generators in Pokemon, there's only two black generators in the game. That and a black and white one. Nimona, we also battled against Nimona before Glassy and the gym. She was very simple. Literally so simple. I think we were able to like destroy Nimona. Like Nimona has never been like simple. Even her final gym probably be been battle against her. And will probably be the only tough battle against her. But we were stupid and yeah, she kept it. But Palma is next. I'm like Palma I think I'm gonna use a Moon Blast on her first. Moon Blast will be able to destroy her. As you guys can tell, we have an amazing team, and this thing can honestly destroy Pama. Pama is a joke compared to us. As you guys can tell, we have like a new trainer. I'm like, this is our third revamp. The other revamp we had was like our character like wearing makeup. I can explain about that later. I don't want to talk about that. And also, Moonblast, literally two shots. It's so easy. Moonblast, this Moonblast, Florgrass is just so good, honestly. It's just so good. And one surf did the trick for almost two sh two surfs the trick for um Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge stood no chance against us. Absolutely no chance against us. This idiot stood no chance against us. And we were able to destroy Skelly Dirge and pull that bitch back to its roots. It was gone and it was never to be seen again. You can burn in hell honestly. And I think I'd really enjoy burning in hell. And we had the battling is Gusha the Femboy. And the Femboy basically did is that he was basically, yeah, he battled against the Femboy. And he basically, I didn't even know he was a girl. These are very out simple though. Um, we battled against his first Pokemon. If you guys don't know, we don't have any fire types. So he's actually gonna be tougher for us. His Frost Moths, he is actually our toughest gym battle. So yes. For me, he is my toughest gym battle. Because I don't have fire types. I don't have any fire type shinies. I had to rely on these random Pokemon. They're not even weak to like fairy types. We didn't have any. F the fact that we didn't have any fire types put us in such a bad place, honestly. Not even my Mirai could do shit against it. I mean, Moonblast did somewhat of a damage. Moonblast, I just wish I had Calm Mind on my thing. I just wish so badly I had Calm Mind on my progress. I already finished this recording, I already finished the entire video. I did everything. And Focus Sash was able to get somewhat of a thing. I mean like, it was so bad on he just trash lies and defeated this, her Pokemon. And she was like such a... She, I'm, why am I saying she was a he? It's a he, he was so tough. Altario is a not really that tough. He's like, what we had to do against her, pretty much, we were already trash lies and she, he trash lies the Pokemon. And Altaria is trash life, and we just use Surf and basically beat, beat that thing down. And but like we got lucky with avoiding these things, and like flip turns and stuff, and we, we basically defeated it. It was on low and house, and we defeated Gusha. She took a long time. He took a long time. Sorry, he. That was my last time saying she. 
I just tend to forget that they're he. He's a femboy, I can't forget. Also, we have that's our final gym battle time. And Hugo was so, literally this gym battle was a joke. It was this bidding, bidding stuff was also a joke. But the biggest joke was the fact that we actually one shot this bitch. We threw him back into Alice in Wonderland. We threw him back into Alice in Wonderland. Once again, he is back in Alice in Wonderland. Very belonged. Not gonna lie, it looks like that rabbit from Alice in Wonderland to me. But anyways, we just like literally one shot. We literally just one shot his ace. It was so funny, honestly. I was really laughing so hard because I literally destroyed him. He was a joke, honestly. I destroyed him. I destroyed Koku easily. I want to throw him up a little bit after like. I want to. I want to make a joke out of Koku. That's why I actually battled him last. And as we actually finished all gyms, it was time to be gay and basically have our male wear makeup, loads of makeup, to look a little bit of like congratulations. But anyway, we actually changed that character. We took off the makeup because it gave me boners. And it decided about against a fighting type leader. And basically, the fighting type team star buff. Obviously, always, whenever I play this game, it's always tough for me. Remember how many times it's going to be Scarlet and Scarlet. But Mariah Kyle is actually the one who is actually able to defeat all the fairy type, all the fighting types for us. And as we were Pen Penny's brother, we were able to basically battle against her, battle against Airy. Airy is very tough, honestly, because it took us multiple tries to, took us multiple tries to defeat this bitch. She was very tough, honestly, because of the fact that she had like super effective moves and focus flashes that she was able to win. And this is how we defeated this. We were like, I don't know what to do, honestly. I was so confused. Like, how do you defeat this girl? She is like so tough that she can really took so long to defeat. Even her Remoru, he basically had to rely on like these, like these stupid moves to actually defeat her. She that took so long, even all of her Pokemon were so tough to defeat. Even though we had to protect and everything, was literally how we defeated this idiot. I don't even remember how I won against her, but I got lucky, that's all. She was literally so tough, but the fight after her was much tougher than her. That fight took me around 2 hours to defeat. Around 3 hours. That and this other fight. And just so you guys know, I did all these fights in one day. Because I was like, what? I wanted to finish off this video as fast as possible. So I basically binge recorded all of it in one day. Insane. Honestly. And I was, you guys can tell, we were literally in no condition of winning. But I got so lucky. And I got so lucky and I actually defeated it in the last Pokemon Greninja. Greninja was the one who was able to defeat Aerie. And as Aerie was defeated, he got the Aerie's badge. Aerie is kind of cute, not all I. She reminds me of Inosu. Um, he defeated her and then and then we basically battled Clavel. Clavel took us countless times, honestly. Clavel took us a long time to defeat. He turned out to be Clive. Like who didn't know that? He was actually Clive this entire time. I couldn't tell. But we like, we practiced something gone and stuff. So, she, we, our strategy was pretty much around top specs. That was a strategy. And we had a focus sash on our boy. I was, had a, made a mistake with keeping up on the team. Cause I should have did that focus sash. I had a focus sash on him. So whenever Gyarados comes in, I was gonna use the electric type move and one shot him. But I found that did not work. And Abomasol was very annoying because of the fact that he kept flying like on his raising his stats. So we did trash flies into him or something to make our poison type move a little bit stronger against the bitch. And so we also wanted to be like resistant to like grass type moves. But still it was really annoying. Like being for Monka was able to do something as you guys can tell your ninja fainted now. Your ninja is down and it still was a bomb spell. And so then the Gyarados is down also and it's more switch. And now the next Pokemon is Mariah Kai. Mariah Kai and Villabim, and then again Pondu. Yeah, you guys can tell the quality is a lower if I have to record upstairs. But yeah, you guys can see everything from Hulu Hulu first. And next up is, is Meowth Karada. Meowth Karada is going to fast life into a grass type, but it's, but we still had a chance against it. So what I decided to do is that I know I use Flower Trick because always a critical hit and it one shot us. And and I don't know what to do, so I basically switched into him. And I wasn't sure what to do, honestly. I had to, I literally couldn't do anything. So 
So I decided to be like, I basically decided to do is I basically want poison damage to defeat this Mios Parada. Even though I had to, I literally had to do this. I had no chance against Mios Parada. And I destroyed Miss Parada because he had no chance. And we got Crunch on our Luxray. And I was able to defeat Clavel with ease. With ease, Clavel was defeated. And now it was time for us to actually battle against Penny. Penny sent out our Umbreon. He sent our, our Meowth Karada. I mean, our Florgris. Florgris Moon Blast. And then Greninja came out and against its idiot. And his Jolteon really one shot up with Thunder. But she was smart and she was Thunder. And so I switched into Luxray and we were like basically using Crunch and stuff to defeat it. And the next up was Vaporeon, your guys' favorite Pokemon. I love Vaporeon. Electro Ball was not really doing a lot of damage for some reason. And with Florgris, we defeated it. Florgris is such a beautiful Pokemon. Even this thing, I decided to do without Leafeon. I decided to use my Poison type. I used my Poison type and basically started spending game for long term stuff. And destroyed it. And now it's Sylveon. Sylveon took around, what, 30 minutes of residual. Slow, 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 slowly defeat that Sylveon. I slowly defeated it. Poison, poison, poison. Basically, over time, he kept getting poison and stuff like that. And that's actually how I defeated the Sylveon. I defeated it slowly. It reminds me of Pokemon Swords, but it's true. I used Leap Seed in that place to defeat Pokemon. And I was able to defeat Penny, and Penny was down. And now I'm battling against Clive. Clive is going to be an idiot. And he actually revealed himself to actually be the one against it. And he also brought all his friends, which is honestly awesome. But as we were like Penny and we are doing this heart touching reunion and everything, now what we have to do is that we want to take the Elite Four test. This Elite Four, to be honest, took me so long to defeat. Took me so long to defeat the Elite Four in this game. Took me around what two hours to defeat this Elite? No, it took me six hours. It took me an entire rest of the day to defeat this Elite Four. So annoying, honestly. Slowly, we were able to defeat them. I'm like trying one of my. Play. It's like kind of like our first run. I was like, it took us a long time to show you guys a run. But we'll have to defeat Rika. How I defeated this girl, I decided to use neutral moves instead of quad effective moves and I was just pre cram wrapped. Next up was Donovan. So I didn't want to use a sturdy because I knew I had sturdy. But I basically did it that I used like water pulse and basically destroyed it Eve overall. And then after that, it was time for Doug Trio. You guys love Doug Trio, one shot I think. They never stand a chance against us. Fods are the last Pokemon. Well, I wasn't sure what to do against it, so I basically destroyed him with Greninja. Cloudstar took us a long time, and also Poppy, this thing, I was like, oh, what should I do? I basically used Flip Turn in the first turn. I know, close combat. Almost one shot that thing. And he used Stealth Rock, and Wuxia was not able to do this. As you guys can tell, this thing was not able to do this, even though we tried to use a quad effective move. And I decided to go into a Flip Turn and defeat that Magnet Zone. These steel types are really annoying, honestly. This is also, these body presses that not really do anything at this. Super effective moves should be able to defeat Scorbonite. And Bronzong. Bronzong is next. Bronzong has Earthquake. I you know, tend to forget that. But he has Earthquake. I always forget that he has Earthquake. He's still able to defeat that thing. And Tinkaton is the last Pokemon on our team. Tinkaton, same exact nickname. She named it the same exact thing that I actually named my Tinkaton, my Pokemon Scarlet Phaser. I found that hilarious, honestly, that the same exact nickname. But still, even though you're we like, we we're down, you're we still able to trash slide our hero. You guys can tell Hero is a legend. Hero was able to defeat it. It was so close to getting a thumbnail. Probably under the strength cake. Anyways, we were able to defeat her Poppy. Poppy was down. This bitch was down. This miner was down. And she's down. And now we're time against Larry again. Larry wanted to battle him for the next sex time. This time, Larry's in a lot tough. It, he's gonna be easier, right? kind of. To be honest, he's gonna be easier because it doesn't take us a billion tries. It took us like four times to defeat him. And like basically, his Flamigo, I don't remember how many times, I think a couple times, I guess. Flamigo is his ace, and that thing's gonna die to Electro Ball, honestly. Any electric type move will be able to destroy Flamigo. So we used like basically, uh, we used a um, Electro Ball and defeated that thing. And Flamigo is almost one shot. But basically, we had to go into Haste Sisters, and Haste Sisters was actually the one who was actually able to defeat it because it was a stupid idiot and actually basically was actually acting like an idiot and it actually basically committed suicide. It basically committed suicide. 
and I defeated that thing. Um, I defeated Flamingo, and now it's time against the Hassel, and Hassel took me so many times to defeat. Took me around what? So many damn times. I was getting so bored of his super fangs and everything. He took me around what? Seven years to defeat? He took me so long to finally think of a strategy against Hassel. We had to poison him and stuff, and that's actually how I defeated his dragon types. I am so surprised how tough Hassel was. Dragalga was able to, like, I knew in the gears, Ice Spinner, if you guys didn't know. Uh, recover and stuff with Aoshi going in really useful, and it's smooth for not doing a lot of damage, because I guess my special de defense is really good on my Tox effects. It's really good on my Tox effects. My special defense was something else on my Tox effects. But so we were able to defeat that thing. That bitch went to hell. That bitch went to hell. Be able to defeat this thing. And this thing was like basically we're really not very effective. We're, we're still able to defeat that thing. Extra sensory hacks was it down. And his flapple was also down to ice spinner. You guys can tell. It was down to an ice spinner. It could do nothing against her moves. And basically Bax Calibur was down. Next, and Bax Calibur was killed. And we defeated Hassel of the Elite Four. Hassel of the Elite Four and our Elite Four is down. And he started crying like a baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he started crying like a baby. Bro, he's like, what? He's like 80 or something? And he started crying like a baby. And now he's a champion. Champion is not going to be too tough. But the bangs on sale. And Ice Flash was able to defeat her as Fastra. Almost one shot her. But she, she, she set up a Dragling Beam. And did a somewhat damage to us. Almost killed us. Okay, next up was our Go-Go. This go, -Go is so fucking annoying. We use poison type moves to actually poison damage to actually defeat that thing. Because of the Zen headbutt, you have to rely on these ice spinners and stuff. And poison was actually able to defeat us. Our switch is about to die. Can we actually defeat this thing? King Gambit was actually was also the thing. We had to use neutral type moves on it. It was so annoying. She really beat her crystallization. She took me multiple times to defeat this, so you guys know. Two or three times I defeated me to defeat this champion. And Glamora was her ace, but guess what? We only had the trash life. We almost one shot that thing. We got lucky and we destroyed her without even trash validation. How tough can a champion be? The champion has a weird team. And the real champion, Nimona, battling the, the real champion. Nimona had like what we. we was, Nimona was easier, Earthworm was the only kind of tough one on the team. And I guess the Palma was really easily easy because all you had to do is basically destroy that thing. But before Palma, uh, yeah, Palma came out and we just destroyed the Palma. Even the Dunce or so whatever she, she had was really easy to defeat. Her team is really easy to defeat. Her team was super easy to defeat. Double shot with a waste over time. We got destroyed because of it. And the next step was Gudra and we used Sledge Bomb, but we still able to defeat that thing. And next step was her Ace. To do inspire. No, it's not her ace, it's her stupid Pokemon. It's her extra Pokemon. Where the hero is hero is actually um a zero to hero. So basically sort of like full restored zero to hero. He's full restored hero. And hero is actually the one that is actually able to defeat his agility. He used rate the speed and he fast lies and he basically destroyed Skeletor, threw that thing back into the dumpster that Skeletor deserved them. Skeletor was thrown in a trash can. And either a wave crash came in, destroyed the slider, one shot that bitch, and he was never to be seen again. And my strider was never to be seen again. My strider or Gologni was in the graveyard. And we defeated Nimona. And Nimona was crying to us that she feared. Most likely she wanted to sleep with us. I don't want to do that. It's a minor. And we had to battle against Arvin. And then Arvin, Arvin wanted to battle against us. And Arvin is a very easy match actually. For the fact that he basically had like a mass weapon, the dark type against a Mariah Kai, which basically one shot it. You know this thing is earthquake and stuff and body slam and stuff, but still, this thing is very easy and you can destroy this thing. It's a really easy fight, honestly. Code School has a few quad device, can't do anything against us. And we were really destroying him. him. Even Garaknago can't do anything. You know, he did use Stealth Rock, which is very annoying. Anyways, he did use Stealth Rock, which is very annoying, but still, we destroyed it. And next up was this next Pokemon, which is this other Pokemon, whatever its name is. It was still able to defeat that thing. I don't care how many Pokemon you throw at me, I'll be able to defeat you in the end of the day. Arvin. Arvin, you're gonna throw you're gonna throw yourself in hell if you keep me this man. You're wasting your own time by battling me. 
Maskotif can't do shit against me. Maskotif is a joke. Maskotif is a joke. He literally one shot that bitch. He was down in the graveyard and he was never to be seen again. And now all we have to do is head to area zero. And for our final match, Sada, the chick Sada, she is the th thickest chick alive. And she is going to be the, actually the toughest match of ever. And she's very tough because she's a bunch of paradox Pokemon. But still, I believe we can do this, guys. I believe in us. I think our spoiler alert. I think our hero will actually be able to destroy Sada. Sada can't do shit against us. And I'm sorry, Sada, but you're gonna go down to our hero of all time. My guy. My guy. My guy. My guy. Hero will be able to defeat it with super effective moves. Even Mariah Kai. I think I'm gonna have to go with Mariah Kai. Mariah Kai is more of a luck of beating it. Even you, with your neutral type moves, will be defeat it. I think I can defeat you. I am not scared of you. I'm not scared of this team at all. I'm not scared at all of this team. I'm not scared of this team. We can do it, guys. And I believe in myself. This Flutter main was next. And all you do is just spam Thunderbolt. Really? That's all you're good at? We decided to use, like, X items on this thing. I had to kind of rely on X items, unfortunately. I had to rely on X items to defeat this. Because, honestly, what I did, I'm going to be honest. I'm so sad I did this. But what I actually did is that I actually used X item on my Mariah Kai. To low to tighten his speed in attack, to pr or special attack, whatever, into a such a strong amount that he's a quad effective moon blast. And as I try to into a moon blast, I had one shot Sada. Sada was done. This game is done. Now Pokemon Scarlet can be returned back to GameStop, and I don't need the game anymore. I don't want Pokemon Scarlet anymore. I'm gonna throw in a trash can later today. I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna burn this game down. But pretty much, I never want to play Scarlet and Violet again. I'm done. But one more time, and also just answer our question. Whether or not we can beat Pokemon Scarlet with only Shinies. And that question is no. We cannot beat Scarlet with only Shinies. I just waited, wasted two months of my time trying to beat this challenge. And as you guys can tell, Coridon came in and destroyed us. And wasted our entire time. And every single effort that we put into this challenge run was wasted. Because... This challenge could not even be beat. We didn't beat this challenge. We wasted our time and we basically, our entire team was wasted and we didn't beat this run. We didn't beat Pokemon. We were not able to beat Pokemon Scarlet with only Shinies, if you guys can't tell. Thank you guys so much for watching me waste my time for two months on doing a challenge run we can't even complete. It's just such unfortunate, honestly, and I'm not doing it again. Thank you guys. Like and sub.